Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install OnCloud to your Raspberry Pi. I'm also going to show you how to mount an external hard drive for large capacity storage to store all your files, and how to securely access your Raspberry Pi OnCloud from anywhere in the world with internet access. From the terminal or SSH, enter the following command sudo space raspy config and hit enter. Here, Change user password, especially if you're accessing your Raspberry Pi own cloud from outside the network. Then go to internalization options, change locale. Here, scroll down to select ENUS UTF-8, this one here. Press the spacebar to select, tab and hit OK and save. Then let's go to overclock. Now this is a Raspberry Pi 3B. This cannot yet be overclocked, but if you have a different model, it might be uh, possible to overclock. Make sure to select medium and save settings. Then go to advanced options, memory split, and change it from 64 to 16 megs. Select OK. Then finish. You'll be prompted to reboot. Upon reboot, we need to update the Raspberry Pi and its packages by entering the following. Sudo space apt get update just like you see it here once done enter sudo apt get upgrade this process can take a little bit but when prompted to continue select yes once done we'll be able to install our own cloud instance to the raspberry pi so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the owncloud.org website and here to the far right, click on download button. Under get own cloud server, click on download button. Select packages for auto updates tab. And in the bottom, click on continue. Select the packages for Debian. And here are the commands we need to run. They're not in order, so you need to follow this tutorial carefully. I'm going to copy and paste them to the terminal or SSH. The first command we're going to enter is sudo space su. And then from the second block, let's copy the first command. Remember to hit enter after each command. I'm going to try to be as fast as possible copying this information. Now from the first block, copy the first command. Hit enter. And then from the first block again, copy the second command. Once done, let's do an update. So copy the second command from the second block. When done, we're ready to install OwnCloud by copying the third command from the second block. When prompted, select yes to continue. In the installation process of OwnCloud, it will ask you to create a password for the root user of MySQL and to confirm, just like you see it here. This process will install all the necessary packages for OwnCloud to work properly. You can copy and paste all these command lines from my website for an easier, faster installation process. Once installed, you can access your own cloud instance from a computer in the network. Enter http colon forward slash forward slash the raspberry IP address forward slash own cloud. Create an admin account and click on finish setup. If you're adding an external hard drive for maximum capacity storage, I don't recommend you to log in just yet. Let's mount that hard drive first, and then we can come back and log in. To do that, from the terminal or SSH, enter the following command. sudo space apt get install ntfs-3g. It'll probably be installed. Yes, it is installed. Now let's create a directory we can mount the hard drive to. So enter sudo space mkdir space forward slash media forward slash owncloud and hit enter. Let's create a data group 
and a data user and add that user to that data group by entering the following sudo space group add space dub 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 dash data hit enter it'll most likely be created now let's create a data user and add it to that group enter the following sudo space user mod space hyphen a space hyphen capital g space dub 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 dash data space dub 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 dash data now let's make that data user owner of the directory and apply proper permissions to read write and execute so enter the following sudo space shown space hyphen capital r space dub 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 dash data colon dub 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 dash data space forward slash media forward slash on cloud then let's apply proper permissions by entering the following sudo space chmod space hyphen capital R space 775 space forward slash media forward slash on cloud. Now we need the GID and the UID of the user data and the UUID of the external hard drive. To get the GID, enter the following ID space hyphen G space dub 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 dash data. To get the UID, enter ID space hyphen U space dub 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 dash data. Now we need the UUID of the external hard drive. To get that, enter ls space hyphen L space forward slash dev forward slash disk forward slash by hyphen UUID. That ID would be located to the left of SDA1. We need to write this information down because we're going to need it for future configuration. Once you have written down this information, enter sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash fs tab. On the bottom here, enter uuid equals and the id of the external hard drive you just got. Space forward slash media forward slash on cloud space auto space no fail comma uid equals 33 comma GID equals 33 comma U mask equals 0027 comma D mask equals 0027 comma no A time space 0 space 0. Make sure that the line is properly written and save the file. Once saved, go ahead and reboot. Upon reboot, we can check if the hard drive is properly mounted to the directory by entering the following sudo space ls space forward slash media forward slash on cloud and hit enter. If the hard drive contains any files, you should see it here. If nothing shows up, like in my video, don't be surprised, it's because most likely the hard drive is empty. Now we're ready to access the Raspberry Pi on cloud with that mounted external hard drive by entering again http colon forward slash forward slash the Raspberry Pi IP address forward slash on cloud, create an admin account. Click on storage and database drop down and here enter that directory mounted to the external hard drive and click on finish setup. Or you can click on MySQL Maria database and enter the database user which is root remember and the password you created when you installed on cloud. The database name is optional is up to you. I named it avoid errors. Now with this configuration you can access your Raspberry Pi on cloud instance from within the network. If you want to access your Raspberry Pi on cloud from outside of the network using your tablet or mobile device as if you would when using Dropbox or OneDrive, you will need to enable SSL. SSL enables a secure connection to your Raspberry Pi. The link to enable SSL is in the description box below. Assuming you have enabled SSL, log in to your router and locate the WAN or external IP address. Write it down because we're going to need it for future configuration. Once you have written this information down, go back to the terminal or SSH and enter the following sudo space nano space forward slash var forward slash dub 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 forward slash on cloud forward slash config forward slash config dot php. Here locate under array the number zero with the uh, IP address and right underneath the zero enter one equals greater than single quote the WAN IP address or external IP address 
single quote, comma, and to the right of overwrite.cli.url, replace the IP address with the WAN or external IP address, just like you see it here. Once done, save the file. Then go back to the router and locate the port forward section. Here, add a custom service. Name it, I'll name it OwnCloud, and use port 443, which is the SSL port, and manually enter the Raspberry IP address, or in this case, you can select it for one of the attached devices. Either way, make sure you have saved those changes. And now you can access your Raspberry Pi own cloud from anywhere in the world by entering https colon forward slash forward slash your WAN IP address forward slash own cloud. The same applies from your mobile and tablet. All you need to do is just download the app and enter the HTTP address with the username and password and you'll be syncing just like Dropbox or OneDrive. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.